This is Legends with Bevo. Thanks to Anytime Fitness Glenelg, Renelec Electrical Services, Tiger Tennis, and SMS Gas Installations. And now, here's your host, Bevo. Miles Bergman, welcome to Legends with Bevo. Now, you were picked up in the 2019 National Draft at number 14. Funny enough, it's your number as well. Um, what was the feeling like when your name got called out? And did you know you were going to go to Port Adelaide before you know, your name was called? Oh, I think um, a lot of boys have a fair idea of like who they might go to. But in this case, Port were like pretty quiet to me. Like didn't say a lot. Um, kept it under the cards. So I was a bit shocked when it did get called out. But so excited. Like It's been a dream of mine since I was a kid. So I just couldn't wait to get started. And when you first came over to Adelaide, uh, you're, you're a Melbourne boy, you grew up in Sandringham. What was the feeling like coming over to Adelaide, sort of a bit of a country town compared to living in Melbourne, no doubt? Yeah, very different. Um, I know a lot of the boys from Victoria always talk about how they don't find it too much different if they're from the country, but obviously I'm from Metro, so um, it's been a big difference, but I don't, don't mind it. Um, a bit quieter, but yeah, I guess it goes all right. And when you first moved over, uh, did you sort of have a host family? Did you live with a teammate? What was it like when you first came over? Yeah, so I moved into a host family with one of the other draftees, Mitch. Um, and we were there for a while. Uh, Mitch moved out with another one of the boys. And then I moved into a different host parent with um, Xavier, who I'm now living with in his new house. So Was cool. that Mitch Georgiades you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. yeah. He's gone all right. Obviously a Rising Star nomination this week. He must be talking himself up a bit. Or? Yeah, he's going pretty well. Um, <laughs> dual Rising Star, so that's... Pretty rare, he's doing well, yeah. <laughs> and uh, when you first got to the club, uh, what was the feeling like? Um, you know, obviously you mentioned before you're pretty excited about it when your name got called out, but what was that first feeling, that first training like when you first came to Albany? Yeah, you're obviously really nervous. Uh, you don't want to do anything too, you know, out there. So I just kept quiet, uh, just did the little things and uh, just put my head down a little bit, just let the big boys go back their work. But um, yeah, slowly fit in. and feel more comfortable every training session so and did you have like a mentor one of the uh, one of the old senior boys or just one of your fellow draftees that, when you first came to the club or how did it all work yeah um we got allocated a mentor um and i had brad ebert um so he was really good to me all of last year and um we had a really good connection yeah and you still keep in touch with Ebo as well now that he's retired or uh yeah a little bit went over for dinner um quite a bit last year and have talked a little bit this year but um haven't caught up with him as much as i'd like to i guess and obviously uh, one of the most courageous players ever to play for Port Adelaide, and we know about the E, but no, we don't need to talk about that. But um, you sort of followed in the same footsteps in terms of his courage as well with your game? Uh, yeah, I aspire. Um, I look up to him um, about how he plays. Um, I think he's a great footballer, so um, anything I can learn from him is just a great step, I guess. And has he tried to plug his, his new wine company for you and, you know, trying to get you to buy some of his wine as well? Or? Yeah, a little bit. Um, at our household, we try and help him out as much as we can. Um, Xavier loves his wine, so we have a little connection, a co collection in our um, pantry, so, yeah, we help him out. And who are some of the boys at the club that uh, don't mind a bit of a laugh, some of the funnier teammates? Because I've heard some of the other boys over, over the years have told some great stories, but, um, yeah, perhaps so you can share some stories as well. Oh, there's a lot of boys that love a laugh. Um, I think we all get along pretty well, but you've got your little jokers like uh, Mitch is a bit of a joker, uh, Mots and Butsy as well, they all love a laugh, so um, they sort of kickstart that, I guess, amongst the group. And uh, pranks as well, because I know I spoke to Hammer a couple of years ago and he told me the old uh, water over the locker kind of trick. Did anything, anyone play any on you when you first came to the club? And I heard that Rocky's a bit of a prankster as well. Oh yeah, Rocky loves it. Um, he's all over it, but Nothing too bad for me, just the um, first team meeting. You know, everyone's got their own seats in the um, meeting room and everyone just coming in saying, yeah, city, city, and then I get there and obviously someone like Travis Boat comes up and goes, that's my seat, get out. And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Like, yep, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> so I had to hang wrench aim a bit there, but it is what it is. <laughs> so it's a bit of a stir as well, Bakey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And last year, seven times, I believe, that you were named emergency, which is just amazing, considering obviously being a short season as well. Um, what was it like when you got to make your debut against the Roos? And, and that feeling when you, you, know, you knew you were going to be playing for Port for the very first time this year? Oh, very exciting. Um, I, yeah, I worked really hard over the off-season. Um, like, emergency was even a good step for me. I was really excited when I first was listed as emergency. And then um, what it happened, it just made me want to drive to get that first game. So over the off-season, worked hard and just, yeah, so excited when you hear your name called out to play. So, um, and especially like back home, I could have my family there. So that was really good as well. And playing in the AFL, you know, did it sort of meet your expectations? Obviously, it's another step up. It's 
the best comp in um, Australia. So um, yeah, it's really quick, um, but I felt like I fit in pretty well and just had to like, you know, get a bit of time to fit in and feel comfortable, but the boys were great with that, so. And seeing the song afterwards, did you cop a Powerade uh, share or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, copped one of those and um, I think it stained my hair for a little bit, so. Yeah. Something, I, something I don't have to worry about too much, mate, but you've got the man bun happening couple when you're playing. So. Yeah, a couple of washes to get that one out, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's all part of the fun, though, so. Yeah, yeah. of course. Now, I've heard some of the boys that have told me a bit of our dirt about you, young fella. Now, um, I've heard you're not the best at golf. Now, I can vouch for that as well. I did get a hole in one once, I don't know how, but um, tell us more about your sort of lack of, lack of talent when it comes to golf. I think that's a bit stiff. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I don't play a whole lot, but um, I like to chip in every now and then. And when we play like an Ambrose comp, that's sort of my, my go-to because, yeah, you know, it goes best ball. So if you've got a group of people, I'll hit a great ball every now and then, but a lot of shockers. So you just <laughs> scrap the shockers and then I'll hit a nice drive, but I can't do anything else. I can drive. <laughs> Can't iron, can't putt, but it's pretty accurate, yeah. yeah. Not great. Yeah, I'm a bit the same. You know, I can do this beautiful drive, get it onto the green, and then I still end up with a 10 or yeah, something because yeah. I can't get the bloody putt in. So. Uh, four putt. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. I know exactly what you mean. It's not great. Frustrating. Yeah. And I'm actually a pub trivia host, host myself, mate, and I've heard that you're, you got zero recently in pub trivia with some of the boys. Um, you're not much of a trivia fan then? Oh, I've, I've started off pretty well to the year. Um, we do it every week. Um, usually I'm not too bad, but. <laughs> Uh, it's just, just a weird topic this week, it was um, sports that I don't really watch. It was like jumpers and stuff and it was like ice hockey and um, I don't pay attention to that sort of stuff but yeah, it was, uh, I, was, I was rattled and I got zero so lollies for the boys. Okay, so that was the, that was the punishment? Yep. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get it back mate. And make sure you, you give it back to the boys when, they, uh, when you go right as well. Yep. yep. And uh, also another thing that I definitely agree with is doing dishes now something i can't stand but uh, something that you're not too happy about doing as well apparently oh who says this <laughs> i reckon i'm probably one of the better ones in the house i i chip in a lot but um you've got your days where you just can't be bothered doing anything i guess um dishwasher is my friend uh, just put everything in there but um no i think i do a bit more than the boys in the house i don't say so myself <laughs> okay fair enough yep no that's uh that no we all good. we all chip in pretty well but um yeah there are days where you just like to just leave it and say I'll do it later. Yeah, I think everyone gets like that. So. Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Yeah, at least I have a, have a dishwasher. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, we have to yeah. do it at home. It's just yeah, it's so frustrating. Mm. And also, uh, apparently, you eat about fifteen meals a day, mate. Um, is that sort of all part of the bulking up process, or you just love your food? Um, yeah, a bit of a food addict. <laughs> um, I don't know where it goes. I'm trying to bulk up, but it's uh, it's not working. Um, I might have to eat sixteen meals a day now. Yeah, so you might have to. I don't know where it goes, but. That's also part of the dishes. I'm cooking a lot, so there's a lot of dishes and just sometimes it's a bit overwhelming, so I just, yep. I'll do it later. So you're the cook in the house but then? Yeah, 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 I love cooking. Um, I do it a lot, so um, I'll try and put on weight, but <laughs> see how we go. Lots of steaks, mate, I reckon. Yeah. That's, the way, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And what's your specialty? What do you like to cook? Uh, um, dinners, I've got a huge variety, but throughout the day I'll cook up like um, chicken, like stir fries and like eggs. Uh, turkey, I'll do risottos for dinner. We had risotto the other night. Um, just a bit of everything, really, but no real specialty. <laughs> we've, got, we've got a bit of everything, like Xavier will do the steaks. Um, we'll all share, like, if we make a pasta and then any other, like, interesting sort of dish to wear, sort of me, I think. Sounds like you're, gone. you're doing all the right things. Uh, maybe you need to talk to Bokey because he's always in pretty good shape. Um, although it does take a while, you know, being a young fella. I think I sort of started bulking up about mid-twenties, mate. So, yeah, yeah you got to, it Definitely. takes a bit of time. But keep doing what you're doing, you're doing yeah. well. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to talk to Bokey yet. Yeah, you yeah, do that. Absolutely. And uh, outside of playing footy, what other, other interests do you have uh, other than not, not being good at golf? <laughs> yeah, I say golf's still an interest, but obviously I'm not great. Um, surfing, I love surfing um, when I can get down. The coast, I will. Um, I've got uni at the moment, so I'm doing a Bachelor of Commerce, which is um, taking up a bit of time. I uh, love basketball, but it's hard to like, you can't really play competitive now, but just a muck around with some of the boys is always good. Um, just any sport, really, just getting out and about, um, it's always good. And any sort of surf spots in, in SA or Victoria that you'd like to go to? Uh, not specific, I just, I guess you look at the forecast and see where it's good, but um, being down like Middleton sort of way, um, with some of the boys quite a few times so I know um, our personal like player development manager has a little shack down Gulwa so oh, beautiful. Um, we'll, a couple of us will go and stay the night there and surf around there so 
Beautiful part of the world, yeah. mate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Miles Bergen, thanks so much for joining us on Legends with Bevo, mate. It's been an absolute Thank blast. Um, and all the very best, obviously, for the rest of the season and uh, this week against the Saints as well. Let's hope we get another win. Yeah.